What's going on guys, you're watching 63 Fixed TV and today we're going to be reviewing the Nog Twisted Combo. Now Nog have been really really great to us and been sending these products for us to review and you know they're so reliable. So in, in that respect I want to give them a massive shout out to thank you for sending us these, these products to test and review and to let our viewers, you guys, know what they're like and show you show you the, their durability and, and everything else that comes with it all right so without further ado let's get cracking now looking at this product already this is a combination lock there's no keys required um, and this one actually came with some instructions this time I don't know if you've seen our previous video where we did a review of the the milkman combo I think it's called that didn't come with the instructions, so I had no idea how to set the, the combination or how to sort of, you know, set the lock up. But this actually comes with a cute little instruction book, look, telling you how very, very simple, how to set that up. And we've done so, we've done so. Um, so, I know what you're thinking already, this does not look that strong. It doesn't look like it could, you know, if you locked your bike up just by using this, doesn't look that promising that you'll have your bike still there when you've finished whatever you're doing. Um, just if you're wondering, the security that Nog have given this is a 3 out of 10. So it's the very low end on security. But if you're just sort of like nipping, popping, nipping and popping into like shops and stuff like that, if you're going to be like 5 minutes in a shop or 10 minutes in a shop, this, it does that job. If you're just going in and out, although saying that it doesn't take too long for someone to just pop on right up, watch you go in the shop and then just pop off your lock and then off they go. But if you know your area and you know that you know people aren't going to be stealing your bike, although it can happen anywhere you go, it's good for that reason for just going into a shop or, or just popping in somewhere and boom, locking up. Like I said before in previous videos as well, is when you're using locks like this, team it up with a, a U-lock or a D-lock or something. Like you could wrap this round your your wheel and your frame. <coughs> Excuse me. And you can you can you can put the U-lock around sort of like the frame with the structure, whether it's like a bike lock up or, or whatever, and use this as well. Okay. It's going to take a thief a lot longer to go through two or three locks. I know it's a bit of a sort of like a kerfuffle going and, and having so many locks on your bike and taking ages to sort of get up and go. But, you know, you want your bike to be safe, especially if you're locking it up, if you're going to work and you don't really trust the area that you're leaving your bike. Or if you're somewhere like London or New York and you're, you're leaving your bike out, you know, in the public and, and it's a very busy place and someone could easily just gone. Scissors won't cut this, this one. Um, you're probably going to need something like um, wire cutters, very strong wire cutters, the jaws of life or something that's going to be quite robust, um, like a, a padlock cutter. Um, that would get through this very quickly. <laughs> Okay guys, so at a glance, or at a glance, you wouldn't you wouldn't look at this lock and it, it just doesn't scream cheap. It actually looks quite nice. It's got like silicone or something on the outside. The coating is very nice. It's not rough, it's not gonna tear anything as, as it goes in your bag. Um, you can get really cheap cables that are like next to nothing in price, but it's, it's not going to look like this. It's going to be very, very cheap. The see-through, you know what the type I'm looking, I'm, I'm talking about. This is sort of very nice. What do you expect more from Nog though? They're, pretty much all of their products are using the same sort of materials that feel really good. For example, I've got, I've got some, um, some Nog lights on there at the moment that I'm, re I'm sort of testing out. They'll be in the next video. But the casing on that is this, similar to this. It's, it feels nice, it's rubbery, silicone. Like, that's sort of almost becoming the trademark of Nog, but from, you know, my opinion. Like, when you pick up a product, you don't even need to know it's Nog, you just know it already. Anyway, for all of those sort of geeks out there that want to know the ins and outs 
you know, I'm much the same. I want to review, I want to sort of research everything before I buy it, okay? Just to let you guys know, the front casing here, we've got braided steel cable, 10 millimeter cable, three in security. Want to open your door any louder, mate? 1,300 millimeters in length, and on the back, we've got 10,000 customer combinations, obviously. It's a four digit code, and uh, a fiber core technology. Eight millimeter stainless steel shackle. Love that word, shackle. Anti scratch cable mold. Brilliant. And obviously, it gives you all the standard NOG things, like if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, like I said before, it's, it comes with this great sort of leaflet to show you. It even has this as well. I don't know if you can see that. So if you forget your code, you can write it down. Brilliant. Now, like I said, I'll show you guys what it looks like when it comes to putting this around your bike. Oh God. Okay, so when it comes to wrapping up your bike, there's loads of different ways you can do it. Um, one of the most effective ways, obviously, is having perhaps like a, a, a U-lock or D-lock around the cross of the top bar and whatever you're locking it to, or round put the U-lock here or here, combining those, and then use other locks to make it more secure. When you're adding one of these, you can obviously just uncoil it, wrap it around here. Now you have to put your code in, put that in, and then just scramble all of the numbers up there therefore no one can get in there it doesn't like I say it's not like in my opinion it's not very very strong lock probably a little bit stronger than other ones that you can see out there like the milkmen of course but nonetheless that's on and of course you can and I recommend using a, a bigger stronger lock that will, will take extra you know equipment if like a, a like a saw um, a, disc, a disc saw or something that's gonna you know open locks up like no problem um, so I always recommend another lock as well but that's this is one way um, and obviously you just punch your code in where are we boom, boom, boom. and then that pops off very quick and easy I love this as well actually if you like I say earlier if you're going in and out of shops like real quick I love how it just calls up. Love boats, don't you? Cheers for ruining my shop, Mr. Boatman. Anyway, the other thing that I really love about this lock is that, obviously, once you, let's say that you just locked your bike up like that, I love that when you take your bike lock off, it just, it goes back into that, that sort of shape. It doesn't, it's just, naturally got that sort of coil to it and it just doesn't take long to just pop it in your bag rather than winding anything up it just boom great so then just to recap the main things with this lock is one I would always recommend having an extra lock for this F***ing planes so guys, that was my review on the Nog Twisted Combo. Please leave a comment in the section below what you thought of that lock and what you would like to see in terms of us reviewing products, certain companies. Just let us know what you'd like to see and what you thought of that lock. Thanks for watching this video. Until next time.